afternoon everybody this is Brian with Gig Cleveland thanks for joining my channel if you don't know who I am I do ride-alongs I talk about the gig economy tips tricks whatever you want to talk about the real deal here in the gig economy here in the Cleveland area Greater Cleveland area my name is Brian with Gig Cleveland thanks for joining me uh, go ahead and subscribe ring that bell for notifications anyway today I want to talk about something that I haven't talked about it in a while. I don't deliver to schools. And I know people who why wouldn't you deliver to schools? Well, number one reason is because I have had nothing but headaches with schools. Reason being is because not all teachers, but most, a lot of the teachers, they can't accept phone calls. Uh, they have terrible instructions. It just says leave a door at a high school. And there's like 20 doors. So... You know, and then you try to call them, they can't take it. Then I try to call around, and it's basically taking me 40 minutes to deliver a $10 order. To me, it's a waste of time. That's why I don't even do it. Also, another reason is, is because um, not just the time, the money constraints, but there's a lack of instructions. Uh, you know, there, there, there's maybe a couple, couple, couple like, yeah, two out of 10 I'll probably get that have good instructions. Like, Proper instructions are like, hey, uh, when you come to the school, go to the front door, ring the bell. The other lady, the custodial person will be out to pick it up. Wonderful. I love it all day long. That's how everyone should be. But people think that, you know, DoorDash drivers or drivers just automatically are like a garden gnome. We know wherever the North Star is and we know where you're at. I mean, we don't. You know, it's not like you're delivering into a house or even an apartment complex. Even with an apartment complex, if I can't get a hold of a person and they have an apartment complex where they have a lobby, I just leave it in the lobby and I take a picture. I wait seven minutes on the timer. And that's happened a couple times. People get mad sometimes because it's like, well, why didn't you call me? It's like, well, I did try calling you. Why don't you try calling me again? Well, I'm just following the instructions. See, when you're ordering food, one thing you should do is have that phone tattooed to your butt. You should have it on at you all times. If you're a teacher and you can't get the phone, have instructions. Don't sit there and pawn it off on the driver. And just because you're, you know, in high school or whatever doesn't mean, you know, I'd love to deliver, but that's why I don't do high schools. Strange fact. Also, too, um, the, the reason why, like, when you have so many schools out there and just... I don't do like after lunch, like during, like, like that's why I don't work like at four o'clock when school lets out too, because they'll, sometimes teachers order there. I will never deliver. I did that once. I'll never do it again. The kids are getting out of school. You have to wait. Teacher's not there. She's not answering. And the crossing guards and the people at the school treat you like crap. I, you know, it's just, I don't get it, but okay. I thought this was supposed to be higher learn, you know, learning and supposed to be friendly to people and be courteous uh, but anyways that's just my soapbox on that also too one thing I have noticed which is kind of a strange phenomenon is that people during the snowstorm when I was dashing people were very friendly more than they usually are because it's a crisis for people not for DoorDash. I mean, if, you, if you're relying on DoorDash just to keep you from starving, you're going to die. What I'm talking about is, what is it that will, the people are faced up against I see people that are more selfless, their attitude changes, because it's a, it's a crisis situation. And it's interesting that you would think people would have that mindset all the time, but unfortunately, they don't. Uh, things are normal now. I have had I had a one star rating on my DoorDash order because I didn't dance for somebody. He said I tipped you five dollars. I want to dance. I said, well, I'm not going to dance. I'm here to deliver your food. I'm not a dancer. Um, you know, I'm sure there's you know stuff in the phone book that you can call to have somebody dance for you. Uh, that's just not my bag. And um, well, I'm going to give you a one star rating. I'm like, All right, whatever. Yeah, obviously, I, I, I call DoorDash. I let them know, but they still put the rating through. It just cracks me up because it's like they always side with the customer. So that's why I said people don't care. They don't care about you. That's why it's always just about making 
That's what I tell people. Don't feel bad if you're taking multiple orders as long as you're not hold, holding hostages and they're in the same area. That's not greed. It's called looking out for yourself. These companies don't care about you. They don't give a crap about you, folks. And that's just the sad truth. Um, because I see so many people taking $3 orders. And yeah, I don't... I, I don't take pleasure in that. I just underst I don't understand why people do that. Because um, I'll see the, the screen. Because some of these people have big phones. I have a big phone, but some of these people have like tablet phones that are huge. And you can see that they have big, you know, big letters because they can't see. 350. And I'm like, why would you take a 350 order? And it, it dawned on me that people think that they're employed by DoorDash. They think they're employed by Uber Eats. I'm not employed by them. When I accept an order, I've gone through this ad nauseum. It's a contract for that order. That's it. I can go home. I can smoke a cigar. I can go to the, the gym. I can play with myself. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to take another order. And that's the sad part because people think that, oh, it's, you know, the lowly DoorDash driver, the lowly gig workers. It's like, you can make a shit ton of money if you're a gig worker, if you're smart and you have an entrepreneurial spirit and you have a, a business owner mentality. If you have a employee mentality, yeah, unfortunately it's not gonna end well. And that's how these companies do. They basically go ahead and lure you in with Top Dasher. They give you all the good orders first. I already know how the game's played. That doesn't bother me. I already know what it is. I know how to play the game and I know how to work around that to be profitable. See, that's what life's about. Life's not always going to work out for you and you gotta make provisions. Today was just uh, Wednesday, a slow day. You know, it is what it is. The thing about it is, is that I'm starting to learn that if we all have that same attitude every day when we are in a crisis, how much different this world would be. Thanks for watching. And remember to ring that bell.